Hello sweet crafters and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. I'm so happy you chose to stop by today. If this is your first time visiting, welcome to Sempre Infinitos DIY. So over on Facebook, I started a new group page and it's called La Spanglish Amigas. And on the first event that we did, which was yesterday, we did a, we played the Loteria and we all decided to make a card from the Loteria. If you don't know what the Loteria is, it is a Spanish version of the bingo, but except of using numbers, we have pictures. So also because it was Valentine's month, so we decided to do um, anything or everything that had to do with, um, not everything that had to do with Valentine's, but Valentine's version of the Loteria. Now, on the traditional Loteria, the cards are blue because we're doing Valentine's. We decided to do, you know, some pink colors in there. And then, of course, the Loteria that I chose to do was uh, La Rosa. And here I want to share with you how I am going to make Las Fresas. Now, fresas are strawberries in Spanish, and it's, this is very easy. So I found this canvas at the Dollar Tree, and it is an 8x10. So what I went ahead and did is first grab some clay, and I kneeled, kneeling it, making sure that it is well conditioned. And I just cut a smaller square, which is, I believe it was an 8x6. And then, of course, added my pink border. Now, it is optional if you want to use um, tacky glue because the clay is still soft, you don't necessarily have to, but I wanted to make sure that this was going to hold seeing how um, I'm using different colors and not different colors, I mean, I'm just, because I'm using a canvas, you know, this is my first time ever using a canvas and clay together. I wanted to make sure that it was going to seal and not fall apart on me. So I chose to use uh, tacky glue, which if you know me, I, not crazy about using glue <laughs> anyways so here what i did i just used some cookie cutters or letters and i believe they're about one inch now before i laid my letters on top of my border i wanted to make sure that there was going to be enough space in there so i just simply what i did is laid them right underneath as you can see there making sure there's enough space i wanted to use the color black because i wanted to give it a pop out you know i wanted the, that word to pop out so went with the black and then of course added another black border going all the way around trying to connect uh not connect but cover where both of the pink and white connects together because i did not have uh cookie cutters uh for numbers i went ahead and used this mode now whenever i use a mode a silicone mode i like to brush some baby oil so it's easy to uh get my piece out without it bending or getting squished or what have you and then my card is obviously is the number 22 so i just went ahead and added the number 22 now i did added some uh, tacky glue to this because by the time i pulled out the clay the numbers the clay was already halfway dry because it was such a small piece plus having my fan running then <laughs> all right so i'm just going to use a heart shaped cookie cutter to make my strawberries and i made sure that my strawberries or the clay that was a little bit thick than what i usually like to use and very simple i use some uh, brown clay now this is going to be mimicking my chocolate dripping so these are going to be strawberries dipped in chocolate and just grabbed a knife and just did a little swirl swiggle there or whatever you know and try to make that pattern of dripping uh or dip chocolate and then that was it i mean i did not have to add any glue to this because obviously the clay was still soft enough for it to hold on its own here i'm using just a simple uh leaf cookie cutter as well i added some oil on there and then just use my tool here to make some little lines trying to make more of that leaf pattern looking now for the seeds I went ahead and grabbed a white uh, pen that I found at the Dollar Tree as well. And I just made little lines and that was going to be the seeds of my strawberry. I did make a strawberry, previously made a strawberry and I added black, um, a black, I grabbed a black ink and I added my strawberries and it almost looked like a watermelon. So that was a big mistake. I don't know why I thought of using a black pen when I should have grabbed the white one. <laughs> so just heads up. Anyways. Um, so yeah, so this is how easy and simple this was to make. I had so much fun doing this with my four, my three other uh, creators that were there on my 
uh, group page. And if you guys are not following us over there, please um, go over there, follow us, show us some love. You know, we're trying to bring all of our Hispanics uh, creators together, you know, something fun, something that has not been done. And um, it's like I said, your support will help us out a lot, you know. So here it is all done. So I just going to be adding some glitter around the edge or not around the edge but on my pink uh, border and then that's it try to give it some of that glam to it and this was extremely easy and fun i will be also leaving a link of the group page so you can go over there and see the other creators what they created uh, we had so much fun you know i'm so excited that we decided to do this so my girls decided to help me out with this and i am so thankful to every single one of them and as you can see this is the end of the video so thank you so much for stopping by and until the next time stay safe be kind bye